Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to uh, make a demo video of the project I'm working on, uh, kind of to get feedback from uh, whoever else is in the development community that uh, is interested in uh, procedural audio, um, but also just because I'm excited about uh, where the project stands right now and uh, like to have a chance to show it off a bit. Um, the project I'm working on is 100% uh, uh, code-built uh, procedural audio for uh, Unity. Uh, it builds the waveforms uh, and the uh, initial um, instantiation of the level. And so the entire project um, is uh, simply 37 uh, kilobytes in uh, the web player format, uh, which is uh, fairly minimal for the amount of audio you can get out of it. Uh, at this time, I've got um, a GUI that allows you to kind of manipulate the audio uh, as you're uh, uh, in the uh, Unity scene, uh, but uh, eventually it's, um, I'm developing some uh, programming behind the scenes so that you can do any function calls, any audio manipulation, any um, interpolation between uh, settings uh, just as uh, the game is running uh, so that the player never has to see any of it happen but you have complete control over that in the back end. Um, so here is uh, where the project is at this point in time. Um, it's pretty straightforward um, if you've used uh, synthesizers or um, any type of audio utilities before uh, a lot of this will seem very familiar. Um, You've got, uh, let me turn some of these other things off temporarily, uh, but you've got two oscillators that are uh, able to process the notes and mix them together. Um, there will be um, summing between the two that can be uh, controlled at how much of e which oscillator you want to come through, but at, the, at this point it's um, all of both. Um, and each oscillator has its respective uh, wave shapes, um, including possibility for uh, phase offset uh, with subtraction and multiplication, um, as well as uh, full control over um, octave and pitch offset. Um, In addition to this, uh, the envelope filter um, can handle uh, shaping the sound in whatever your way you're wanting it to uh, come through, um, all the way from highly percussive sounds uh, to um, very fluid uh, flowing sounds. Um, this can also be uh, paired with the delay. Uh, to build uh, a lot of possibilities and a uh, filtering system that uh, is uh, variable state filtering for uh, just about any type of sound that you're, you'd want it to have. Um, high pass filter to thin things out, low pass to only let the low end through. Um, you got some a band pass and a notch filter that all uh, can be applied. Um, the filter and delay are both uh, just Unity objects that can be applied to any audio source, so uh, you can uh, apply that to whatever sound effects you currently have uh, in your game. Just drop this onto your object and it's ready to go. Um, the delay is also locked in with the um, metronome, so if, as you change the tempo, um, the delay will reflect those changes. with some really cool results with uh, not a whole lot of effort. Uh, also, uh, with the current iteration, um, I'm working on building a sampler and a sequencer for uh, this, but those aren't integrated yet. Uh, but you do have control over doing chord changes. Uh, using just the number keys on the keyboard. Thank you. 
um, to letting the audio kind of develop and grow on its own. Um, but ideally, all of these controls would be happening uh, behind the scenes uh, while the uh, player is playing through your game. Um, and none of this would have to be uh, present. Um, it's just happening and evolving the music as the player uh, meets whatever criteria you've set up. Um, so that's kind of a demo of uh, where my project is at this point. Um, I'd love to hear any feedback and suggestions uh, that you guys might have. Um, this is definitely a work in progress and it's a long way to go, uh, but it's uh, starting to uh, feel like a um, cohesive package that has a lot of potential to um, be used in a lot of different ways. Um, so let me know what you think and um, I look forward to hearing from you.